Our team found thousands of renters in North Carolina are still waiting on help from the first round of rental assistance two months after they first applied. In October, North Carolina created the Housing Opportunities and Prevention of Evictions Program, also known as HOPE, an effort to help those financially struggling to pay their rent and utilities for up to six months. The defenders, Nate Morabito, discovered just a fraction of those who applied are receiving their benefits. Nate's asking, where's the money? Consider this, 42,000 eligible North Carolinians applied for help before the November 11th deadline. The state's own records show so far, only 7,600 or 18% have actually received money. Jamie Stocker has much to be thankful for this holiday season. She and her nine-year-old daughter are healthy, the lights are still on and they still have a roof over their heads, but that could all change in the coming weeks. I lost about 90% of my commission payout and I live off of commission. The single mother says her full-time job, negatively impacted by the pandemic, no longer covers her $1,200 monthly rent and utilities. The South Charlotte woman says she's behind on both. I knew that I needed help. I just needed to put my pride aside and finally ask somebody for some help to stay afloat. Stocker says she tried to avoid this. I have no one to fall back on except the state. She applied for the HOPE program and in November received initial eligibility approval, but says since then she's received no actual help. I applied in October. It's almost December uh, 31st and no phone call. Too often families face the impossible choices between paying rent and keeping the lights on or buying food and other necessities. After the governor announced the new program in October, a staggering 42,000 people applied for HOPE money in just a matter of weeks. State records show as of Tuesday, only 7,600 households have actually received HOPE money. Another 9,300 are approved and waiting for payments. The remaining 25,000 plus are not nearly that far along. I think some counties are at different points in the process as far as how quickly the money is getting out. The influx of applications forced the state to recently hire 150 new staff members to speed up the process. The Office of Recovery and Resiliency assured us eligible applications are being processed as quickly as possible, while still meeting all requirements for use of the federal funds. I understand that the HOPE Fund is behind and they had a lot of recipients. I just hope that they're able to get to everyone before actions are, are taken. Back at Stocker's home. I could stop running Postmates and DoorDash and Uber. She can only imagine what a difference Hope Money will make if and when it comes through, assuming her landlord even accepts it. I'm just hoping that everybody who needs help gets it and we can get through this. We advocated on Stocker's behalf. The state has since alerted Hope Program Management about her concerns and assures us Management will follow up. Nate Morabito, WCNC Charlotte.